Okay, so I'm so sorry there was power outage. Okay, there was power cut. All right, now today uh, we are going to learn about the simple machine. All right, so are you prepared? Kajal Wali, are you there? Okay, so do you listen me? Sunun Samalai? If you listen me, then please raise your hand, okay? Okay, fine, that's great. Okay, Promita, will you please unmute? Unmute once. Yes, do you sir. hear me properly? Do you hear me properly? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, fine, thank you. I took data from phone, okay? There is no internet today. Anyway, uh, I'm so sorry because there was some kind of glitch. Okay, that's why uh, I got offline. So there is no there is no electricity, right? And there is no internet as well, but still I'm managing from my mobile phone. Anyway, so we are learning a uh, simple machine, okay? All right, I'm a simple machine when you listen for this song, okay? So, and as I told you earlier, we are we learned about liver. So basically there are three types of liver, first class liver, second class liver, and third class liver, all right? And then um, we also learned about liver. So after that, today we are going to learn about, uh, did we learn about pulley? How many pulley go by my him? Did you learn something about pulley? Okay, so God, will you please unmute once? Did we learn about pulley? Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, did we learn about uh, fixed pulley? I mean, fixed pulley go by him for him, you know? Yes, sir. And did you learn about movable pulley? Uh, we have learned about fixed and movable pulley. Sorry, fixed and? Movable pulley. Very good. Now let's fix, okay? Let's, okay, thank you so much. All right. So let me repeat once again. So basically this, let me share this screen, all right? So after sharing screen, you'll understand. So, okay. So pulley is a simple machine having grouped circular disc. So we all, we all know what pulley is. So this is the figure of pulley. Yeah, you understand? This structure is the figure of pulley. So it has a group circular, it has a group surface. Okay, and it is rope. All right. And then, uh, so basically this is the example of fixed pulley. Okay. All right, so this is the figure of fixed pulley, all right. So, and basically we can classify pulley into three category. Uh, one is known as fixed pulley, second one that is movable pulley, and last but not the least, we have block and tackle pulley, all right. So these are the types of pulleys, okay. Please don't do that, all right, students. Just don't do that, okay, let me, okay. Anyway, so this is pulley, all right. <clears throat> So we all are quite familiar about this one because last time we studied about this one. So pulley can be categorized into three. We have, there are three types of pulley. Okay, fixed pulley, movable pulley, and last but not the least, we have block and tackle pulley. Okay, so if you talk about fixed pulley, yeah, and it's the halko structure and the fixed pulley bonzo. You can see here, all right? So this structure is the figure of fixed pulley. And uh, look at this. This person is lifting the load, yeah, so you manage to lift the load like uchali ragosa. You know, the string under this is rope, and when this person applies force to the downward direction, lower you man the force the downward direction to the log onsa, lower you load you mati So the pulley which which does not move up and down with the load, uh, when the load is raised, is the load and get on like it is over the tala mati, zan then kali kumsa, is the rooted boy when the lamely fixed pulley bonsum. All right, so the pulley is said to be fixed pulley if it rotates, all right, when the load is pulled or when the load is pulled upward, such kind of pulley is called fixed pulley. We learned this in our previous class. Okay. And then, so as fixed pulley does not multiply the force, and let has a key or has one fixed pulley legally when force will multiply it. Okay. It does change the direction of force. Any force could direction change. Right? So I'm really fixed pulley is going to main current keep and you Do fixed pulley does not multiply the force, fixed pulley force could multiply it. Still can fix pull use goals of money. Fix pull plays important role in changing the direction of force. I fix pull force with direction change gonna lie. Help on you, I'm really fix pull use goals. All right, so now there is another category of pulley which is called movable pulley. Okay, I'm the movable pulley when you want some kind of movable pulley when you want that because when you pull the load, so I'm the load tons of two movable pulleys tall or mati goals. Okay, load on the carry mati dancer. You can see in the picture here, yeah, just Look at this picture, yeah, and this person is lifting the load job. You might say load light on the head is you are a pulley, matic a pulley. This pulley is called fixed pulley. Use a rooted gumza. Raw and if force labels, you pulley matches and things. You pulley is a gumza pony matibin is answer. It has two kinds of motion, okay? Just keep it in mind that move your pulley has two kinds of motion. One, it has a rotatory motion, and while it goes up, it has upward motion, and while it goes down, it has downward motion, okay? 
So this is all about movable pulley. And you should understand that. about movable pulley. And you should understand that. So this is all about movable pulley. And you should understand that. So this is all about movable pulley. And you should understand that. So this is all about movable pulley. For example, top only 20 newton. Let's say you'll have to carry the load of 20 newton. Top only 20 newton load carry gone for even a key on the task. Top only just a 10 newton matter force law. I fix because it multiplies the effort. Cause it force like a model like or say, I'm say you can see the figure there. Yeah, and so see look from it. The one that is screen actually and so look on the screen. Yeah, and so load. there is a load uh, which is really lifted. It is four newton to four newton loads. So the four newton load and the lift gone upon it. So you know that. Four newton load has to be lifted. And this color is empty. Key on a socks of money. Yet about you can see this arrow here. Two newton force log. I go so and yet about two newton force. Ls are fixed query ones. Okay, like this one. Mm, okay, see here. Yeah, and so this is the example of movable pulley. Yeah, and so same at the door. Really, a fixed query was okay. It is fixed here. Is a door really a fixed query was so and then it's about only force log also. Job a lamb with times when this load is pulled upward at the force. A log I didn't say. And add the force a logarithm. Here are two rope segments. I do it a rope segment, so you know, here are two rope segments. Okay, so the 20 newton load carry gone upon its own. Suppose you'll have to carry a 20 newton load in that case, 10 newton load, 10 newton force is applied by this rope. LA 10 newton force log on, sir. LA ferry 10 newton force log on, sir. 10 newton 20 by that means top only genuine log on force when you get 10 newton materials. Okay, okay, so you'll have to apply just 10 newton force by applying 10 newton force, you can carry 20 newton load. Okay, suppose if you have to carry 50 newton load, then you can apply just 25 newton force. If you have to carry 100 newton load, then you'll have to apply just 50 newton force. That means just keep it in mind that movable pulley always multiplies the force. Okay, it doubles the force. Did you get the point? Movable, movable pulley is only when you give us the force like double goals. Eh? Okay, so this is one advantage of the movable pulley. All right, so I hope you people are clear. Any confusion? So this thing we learned in our previous class, isn't it? These things we learned in our previous class. Okay. Bujnu bhai na, amli ko raha previous class na pade kuchhi. Okay. Pramita Bandari, on mute, please. Yes, sir. Okay. Pramita, are you clear about that one? Yes, sir. Suppose you have to lift a load of 15 newton, and you are you are using movable pulley. Now tell me how much force has uh, how much force is to be applied? Anujita, kati force lagon porsa? Uh, from one rope 25 newton and from another 25 that means how much force you have to apply in total 25 newton suppose you'll have to carry a 50 newton load and in that case how much force you'll have to apply what the force long person yeah you know, say so you can see the figure there you see there okay you can you see the figure there yes sir the figure taking was the screen ma? okay this is the figure of movable pulley okay this is the figure of what? Movable pulley. Mm -hmm. yes. one, one string is attached at this point. Yeah, but I do it about the fix one. And yet, about okay, you can see this area. Yeah, but it's a tiny okay. Tiny, but let's say if it is 50 newton, if 50 newton goes over here, you'll have to apply 25 newton or only 25 newton log. I didn't say it's a particular part. Did you get the point? Yes, so, sir. this part applies 25 newton force. Top of the Jodi Lako 11 13 log. I didn't say if you put if you apply 15 newton force 11 15 log. I didn't say. And the total force got the boy 50 plus 50 100 newton that means the force has been double or not force double work you know yes sir yes this yes this is the advantage of the movable pulley okay so movable pulley okay magnifies the force that means a bigger load can be lifted okay a bigger load can be lifted by applying movable pulley okay so this is all about movable pulley all right so I hope you people are clear. Now today let us learn about the important one. Or a note, say, see here. This is very much important one. Movable pulley has effort distance two times more than the load distance. So if you talk about movable pulley, movable pulley has effort distance double than load distance. Okay, movable pulley maki one zone. Effort arm is double than load arm. All right. That is when the effort arm is double, then it multiplies effort twice. Last time I also talked about that. It could even lever go. If any lever has longer effort arm, then it multiplies the effort, isn't it? If any lever has longer effort arm, then it multiplies the effort. That means since the movable pulley has since the movable pulley has double, you can see double effort, or you can say the movable pulley has the effort distance, which is twice of the load distance, so it multiplies the effort twice. Okay, so it's here. 
movable pulley has a for distance two times more than low distance hence to lift it is lift okay hence to lift hence to uh, okay so hence to lift a load only half amount of force should be applied that means if 20 newton load has to be carried okay for example for instance if 20 newton load has to be carried we need to apply 10 newton force how much force do you need to apply you need to apply 10 newton force did you get the point so this is all about this is all about fixed sorry movable pulley okay so students are you clear about that one okay please yes sir okay can you tell me the advantage of movable pulley movable pulley he multiplies the force mm -hmm. um so okay. we can uh, lift the force by uh, applying half of the amount half amount of force very good okay but can you tell me how does it multiply effort here's what i found can you tell me how does it multiply effort can you tell me what do you want to do okay so here is an please mute so god are you there so god yes sir now tell me how does movable pulley multiply the effort the movable pulley multiply the effort because in the pulley the uh, effort arm is always longer than load arm yes you are right effort arm is longer that means effort arm is twice effort arm is yes, twice, twice of the load arm effort arm is twice the of twice load of the load arm. arm so it multiplies effort how many times two times how many times two times so okay very good that's right so because of that one the effort will be multiplied by using movable pulley okay okay parishma do you listen to me properly yes sir now tell me how does uh, how does combined pulley sorry how does movable pulley multiply the force mm -hmm. how does movable pulley multiply the force okay kelvin mm -hmm. sabkota question goes to you yes sir uh move movable multiply the force uh, as we know that uh, move movable pulley has effort distance uh, two, twice uh, two times more than load distance uh, mm -hmm. load distance hence to lift a load we have to uh, apply just the half of the uh, total amount of load for example let's say you want to lift the load of 1000 newton how much 1000 now tell me how much force you need to apply in order to uh, by using uh, a movable pulley if we are uh, going to lift the load of 1000 newton then we can apply 500 newton okay all right that's good that means movable pulley doubles the applied force isn't it yes sir okay so that's right very good now let me share the screen once again okay so are you ready okay let's begin so now let us learn about the block and tackle pulley so you can see on the figure block and tackle pulley so usually block and tackle pulley is also called combined pulley it is called combined pulley it is also called compound pulley okay block and tackle pulley is also called compound pulley it is the third category of pulley you say pulley got three types more the last one oh it is the third category of pulley all right so it is also called compound pulley and it is also called block and tackle pulley and it is also called mixed pulley just keep it in your mind okay don't be in confusion then so first one is known as fixed pulley second one is known as uh, movable pulley and the third one is known as block and tackle pulley or compound pulley or movable pulley okay keep it in your mind all right compound pulley or movable pulley or or what block and tackle pulley okay so that is the third type of pulley okay you can see on the screen please see look at the screen all right so block and tackle pulley okay it is also the figure of block and tackle pulley all right it is also called the it is also the figure of block and tackle pulley okay yeah and this to type person you know sir figure of block and tackle pulley so you know say block and tackle pulley is the mixture of fixed pulley okay it is the you, know, you can see here in the figures it is fixed pulley it is also fixed pulley and this one is movable pulley this one is movable pulley and this one is load if you talk about this one yeah this upper one it is fixed pulley so two 
uh, two pulleys on a fixed block. This is fixed pulley, and you can see a lower one. It is movable pulley, fixed pulley, fixed pulley, and this lower one that is movable pulley. Now we can see the definition. Okay, so the pulley system formed by mixing fixed pulley and the movable pulley is called block and tackle pulley. Okay, the pulley system formed by mixing fixed pulley and movable pulley is called block and tackle pulley. So when we fix pulley, the movable pulley will have a new pulley system. That is called block and tackle pulley. Okay, so the block and tackle pulley is the mixture, is the uh, you can say is the mixture, is the mixture of fixed pulley and fixed pulley and movable pulley okay so the block and tackle pulley changes the direction of force and multiplies the effort so last time fixed pulley just changes the direction of force okay fixed pulley has the capacity of changing the direction of force whereas a um, uh, movable pulley has the capacity of uh, increasing or you can say magnifying the force right if we need both advantages of fixed pulley as well as uh, movable pulley we can use block and tackle pulley okay so block and tackle pulley is a device uh, that not only changes the direction of force it also multiplies the effort okay so block and tackle pulley is designed to have advantage of fixed pulley and movable pulley at the same time so if we need the advantage of both pulleys you know if we need the advantage of fixed pulley and if we need the advantage of movable pulley in the in that sense okay in that situation okay in that in that case we need to use block and tackle pulley okay so this is all about block and tackle pulley so this is the figure of block and tackle pulley okay the upper one yeah no, sir. this upper one it is fixed pulley it is fixed pulley and lower one movable pulley this is movable pulley and when all these pulley are combined ela joder no pulley system banaincha this new pulley system is called block and tackle pulley all right so it is also the figure of block and tackle pulley okay all right so students are you clear about block and tackle pulley listen one second okay so sometimes we need sometimes we need fixed pulley okay so sometimes we need to change the direction of force so in that case we can use fixed pulley sometimes we need to multiply the force in that case we can use uh, movable pulley okay and sometimes we need to have both advantages we need to change the direction of force at the same time we need to multiply the force so in that case we can use block and tackle pulley so the pulley system or the pulley which is formed by mixing fixed pulley as well as movable pulley when both of these pulley are mixed and a new pulley system is formed that new pulley system is called block and tackle pulley or compound pulley or it is also called block and tackle pulley compound pulley it is also called mixed pulley okay mixed pulley compound pulley block and tackle pulley they are they all are called okay they all are commonly known as uh you can say combined uh, uh you can say block and tackle pulley okay so this is all about block and tackle pulley okay all right okay go to babu fresh will you please unmute once now tell me what is block and tackle pulley the uh, the the pulley system formed by combination of movable pulley and fixed pulley is called block and tackle pulley why do you think we need block and tackle pulley? I'm like in a change uh, We need block and tackle pulley uh, to uh, uh, to uh, to lift very heavy loads. Okay, and and uh, uh, to lift very heavy loads and uh, uh, do it with less effort. Okay, that is one thing. But you just missed one thing. Okay, actually, block and tackle pulley means the combination of fixed pulley and combination of movable mm -hmm. pulley and what does fixed pulley do fixed pulley like uh, it does not move uh, move up and down while uh, lifting or okay yes yes that is the fact okay but what does it do what does fixed pulley do it changes the uh, very it, good. yes it changes, it changes yes you are right it changes the direction of force and what does movable pulley do it multiplies the force Okay, uh, good. Yes, and if we, if we need to have both advantages, I'm like, do we come go no pori? Fix pulley, co company, I'm like, go no pori, ra? Movable pulley, company, come go no pori. I'm like, then which pulley? Which pulley we can use in that sense? In that case, block and tackle pulley. Very good. Yes, because block and tackle pulley has the capacity of performing like fix pulley, and it also has the capacity of performing like movable pulley. Okay, so because of that one, it is very popular. Okay, so that is the fact. Okay, Pramita. Did you understand about block and tackle pulley from the Bonzadi? Yes, sir. 
Now tell me, what is block and tackle pulley? The, the pulley, um, which is used to take the advantage of both fixed pulley and movable pulley is known as block and tackle pulley. That's great, pulley. wonderful, very good. Yes, well done. So, Arya Nutsi Pradhan, on me please. Yes, sir. Now tell me, what is the advantage of block and tackle pulley? Uh, to get the advantage of both mo movable pulley and fixed pulley. What is the advantage of movable pulley? It multiplies the force. Okay, and what is the advantage of uh, uh, movable pulley? Uh, sorry, uh, fixed pulley. It changes the direction of force. Very good, fine. Okay, you people are good. Okay, all right. Please mute. Okay, Price, can you have any confusion? No, sir. Seriously? Yes, sir. Let's say, suppose, uh, suppose, uh, if suppose you want to perform work as while performing a work while doing some work okay while doing a work so you need to change the direction of force and you need to apply less force so in that case which pulley do, would you prefer uh, we should prefer block and tackle pulley why so because it changes the direction of the force as well as multiplies the effort very good all right wonderful okay now okay that's great now let me share the screen once again okay so this is it is the figure of block and tackle pulley and it is the figure of you can see on the screen it is the upper one it is the it is fixed fully and say fixed quarry so it is also fixed fully and the lower one they are movable pulley and when all these pulleys are combined a new pulley system is formed which is called block and tackle pulley okay now so we have some numerical problem okay so so you can see the topic there m a you can see there. Can you see properly on the screen? Any difficulties there? No. Okay. See this. See that. This is very much important formula. Okay. M A V R and efficiency of the pulley. So how can we calculate mechanical advantage of pulley? How can we calculate velocity ratio of pulley? And how can we calculate efficiency of pulley? Yeah, formula, sir. You'll have to understand this formula. Okay. So you know, sir. Mechanical advantage of pulley equals to load of an effort. You'll have to understand this formula. So this is in case of pulley, okay? Yes, go on. So pulley ko case maoni fairi hai. Do you get the point? It is in case of pulley. So M A V R and efficiency of a pulley. M A of pulley is given by the formula load upon effort. M A means load upon effort. V R means number of pulley used. V R when you ki bata number of pulley. You have to you have to see the figure or you have to see the questions. How many pulleys are used in that pulley system? Tell account go on. If two pulleys are used, then the V R will be two. If two pulleys, three pulleys are used, then the VR will be three. If five pulleys are used, then the VR will be five. Okay. Or VR is also equal to number of rope segment that support the load. Now, what do you do? Do you have to do it? If you see figure, ma, you have to do it. Then do it. 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 Do Number of rope segment that supports the load. Are you clear? And then efficiency is efficiency equals to M A. Yeah, and this formula M A by V R into 100%. So this is the formula to calculate if mechanical advantage of pulley, velocity ratio of pulley, and efficiency of pulley. Okay, so you can see the example there. You know, example same as A load of 22, a load of 1200 newton is lifted using a pulley system having four pulleys. You know, say there is load. Load equals to 1200 newton. And uh, number of pulleys equals to four, then you say, and effort equals to 350 Newton. So these are given conditions by the question. Now calculate M A V R and efficiency of the system. And the efficiency of the pulley system only. But these are the given condition is this, okay? Load 1200 Newton, effort 350 Newton, number of pulley equals to four. Now let us go to the solution. So according to the formula we learned earlier, I'm already putting a formula answer. You know, sir? Mechanical advantage that is given by the formula load upon effort, load value 1200 newtons, sir. effort one equal 350 newtons, sir. and when you uh, solve, you will get 3.42. So MA equals to 3.42. And as I told you earlier, VR equals to VR is given by the formula number of pulley used. Here is the quantity of pulley used. That's why VR equals to 4, isn't it? And finally, efficiency equals to MA by VR into 100% by replacing value. 
you will get this one okay 3.42 upon 4 into 100 that becomes 85.5 percentage so this is how we calculate mavr and efficiency so any confusion students did you understand the numerical ma equals to load upon effort br fully equals to number of fully used and efficiency equals to ma vr into 100 percent so by reading the given condition by understanding the question you can solve the 